Hello there and welcome to another video here tonight. I am down here next to the uh, tunnel in the uh, park, uh, in Valley View Park. The tunnel that goes under the road, uh, which is York Avenue basically. It is absolutely pitch black down here. You cannot see a thing. And I have to watch out on fall in the stream because <laughs> uh, one wrong move and I'll be in there basically. And where I'm standing, the ground is soaking wet. It seems like there's a little, almost like a little stream coming down the bank here, uh, to be honest. But um, so I have to watch where I'm walking. Uh, I don't know if I can go through the tunnel because I've only got my sandals on, and it's kind of hard, hard to walk on like angled ground because the the tunnel, the bottom of it's round, you see, and you have to sort of almost do the splits. Well, not quite, but like you have to have your legs splaw footed. Because the stream, the water will be running between your legs, you see. Um, so it could be kind of difficult to go through. I wouldn't mind going in there, because it's very echoey in there, as you can probably imagine. But, um, yeah, I've got my torch with us. Otherwise, I'm not going to see a thing. So, um, right, hang on. I'll move over here a minute. Um, oh, I'm falling over. Um, it's, on, oh, it's on even ground, you see. So this is the tunnel itself here. We torch on a minute. Um, that's the entrance to the tunnel, and there's just a tiny little stream here at the minute. Got my torch as well, but it produces like this circle effect, which I don't really like. But um, it doesn't do like diffusion. It's like a perfect circle, you know. <laughs> I prefer like diffused lighting, so it spreads out more. But uh, it's the best I've got at the minute. And through there, the stream goes under some undergrowth. By the looks of it, kind of can't actually walk through there. Even if you walked in the stream, it would probably be difficult to get through there, I should imagine. Um, I, uh, I'm just trying to think if I can get down to there, because it's difficult for me. Because I've got like vertical problems and stuff. Um, see if I can get in the tunnel. I'm almost in it. Let's have a look. Uh, very uh, quiet, because I think there's somebody up on the bank. Yeah, someone's walking their dog, I think. So I've got to be very quiet. So I don't want to get murdered down here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't know who you might bump into in the dark in the park, if you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you put your torch on, it draws attention to yourself. Uh, so to speak. Definitely does. So I'm just going to... Lay low for a minute, just in case. So I make sure the coast is clear. Because I came down a very steep, steep bank to get in here, I almost fell down the bank to be honest. <laughs> I slipped uh, near the bottom there. Now they went me length. They did me length, I did. Right, I think it's safe to go down here, I'm not sure. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Your voice is good. Yeah, there's a lot of voices up on the bank. Oh shit. Move down here. Right. Have a minute. I'll just, uh, hang on. Okay, well that was a bit of a hairy moment there because there's some, some lads or something up on the bank. I don't know what they're doing here but, uh, some of them uh, seeing a lot of stuff, but uh, I don't know what they're saying, but not the best place to be when there's a bunch of uh, guys up on the bank in the same park as what you're in. So I'm actually in the tunnel now. I'm in the tunnel. It's very echoey in here and very, very dark. I must be mad for coming in here, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm probably, I'm probably going to run into a sewer monster or something like that. <coughs> but I hope not. Anyway, let's see if I can walk through. Right, let's see. Oh, dear mate. Right. 
That's what you can see was just the night vision. Now I'm going to put my uh, torch on. Um, Right, I'm going to try and go through. <coughs> After watch I don't slip here, I'm going to get very wet. There's some balls in here or something. What the hell is that? There's apples and a blue ball. Three green apples and a blue ball. Wow. Yeah. And there's uh, lots of graffiti in here, as you can imagine. Now this is actually right underneath York Avenue, the main road on York Avenue. <coughs> so I'm going to try to get through to the other side. Hopefully I'll be able to get out somehow. Because it might be hard to get up the, the bank, like the sloping sides, you know. Uh, the last time I was in this tunnel was actually when I was a kid, believe it or not. I didn't plan on coming in here tonight, it was just, it just happened by accident really. Oh my god, I I can't see the light. Very quiet a minute. They come this tunnel, I'm going to have to go to get out of here quick, in case they're hostile. <laughs> you never know. It is a uh, general after all. They're coming down the tunnel. You listen very carefully because, like I say, it's absolutely totally pitch black dark in here. There's no lights whatsoever. Nothing. Pitch black. Can I see a hand in front of me first? Yeah, plenty of cars, like. Yeah. I'll walk a bit further through, I think. <coughs> it's a bit easier to walk through here than I thought it would be, actually. But if it's been raining a lot, it'd probably be more difficult because you probably wouldn't be able to come through here if it had been raining heavily because unless you're wearing a pair of wellies or thigh-high rubber boots that go right up to your hips, basically, because <laughs> you'd be absolutely drenched, your legs, your feet, everything, you know? So, um, and let's sit that way a minute. Now well, that's, uh, Looking back at where I just came from, down there. All right. Now, if they do see the, uh, I should be seeing right at the end of the. Oh my God, what's that? That's oh, me late. I don't know. That's <laughs> right else at the end of the tunnel there. The light at the end of the tunnel. Look at this. Woo woo! It's an apparition. What the hell? See, I don't read any of this stuff on the walls here. Uh, Rob07. What does that say? Someone, some like Heaven. Titch of Heaven. Titch, anyone know called, someone called Titch from Heaven? I don't know how many years that's been there. Well, I just had some, uh, oh, right. as I was about to say, just had some rather nice chips from Primrose Fish Grill. But um, <clears throat> the problem is with that place is you can hear the echo off my voice. It sounds almost spooky, like uh, something like sound effects out of a movie or something. Uh, the trouble is with Primrose Fish Grill is they don't have a card machine. So you can't use your debit card or a credit card. You've got to have cash to buy any chips or anything, or a pizza or whatever you want. Um, so I had to go across the road to the shop, and they've got a cash point machine, but it charges you one pound ninety nine to get some of your own money out. Now, isn't that ridiculous that you have to pay to get your own money out of your own bank account? That's absolutely outrageous. I know. I've never done that before, I don't think. And I'm 
know how to do it now. So, so I went across to the back across to the uh, fish. Woo. I went back across to the fish shop um, to ask them, you know, to make sure they didn't have a card machine because last time I was there they didn't have one. But for all I knew, they could have got one by now, you know. But they haven't. And uh, the woman says, "I oh, can go across the road and get some uh, cash out." I says, "Yeah, but they charge you money to get your money out." She goes. She says, oh, if you go inside in the post office, they don't charge you for cash withdrawals. Uh, I says, all right. I says, but I think the post office shut, is shut. And she says, oh, no, they stay open all night uh, until the, clock, until the uh, shop shuts at 10 o'clock. Um, so, um, uh, <laughs> that was weird what happened to the shadow there. <clears throat> I think it was my own shadow, though. Anyway, I was saying, she says, it didn't, the post office bit doesn't shut till 10. So I went in the shop across the road, and the post office bit was shut. So I was thinking, ah, that's weird. So I went up to the counter and asked if they could give us a free cash withdrawal. And she says, oh, you've got to go to the post office bit, which was the next sort of uh, thing, uh, thing uh, down on the counter, the next bit. So they, they still have the post office bit now at the checkout in the shop, not like the actual post office bit, at least on the night time. During the day, it's probably at the elevator, I should imagine. So I managed to get some money out without having to pay for my own money. Way hey, success or what, eh? But I don't fancy having to do that every time, you know, I go down there to get something to eat. So I don't think I'll be going to that chip shop too often. Oh. Thought I heard someone down the other end of the tunnel there. Because there was them lads over there, no. Maybe hearing things, but what's this here? What is this? On the wall here, <clears throat> some more graffiti. I don't know what it says, but it's got some spirally shapes. <sighs> raw. I think one of the words says raw. Something raw. Dr. Raw, is it? Dr. Raw. What does that say? Let's see better with the torch off. Uh, or maybe not. D U five? No idea. Well, I'm lost on that one. Don't know what that says. Right. <coughs> well I'm at the other side of the tunnel now. This is where I don't know if you saw me video about the singing coming from this tunnel. But um this is the uh, part where the girl was singing, there was a girl singing in the tunnel. Uh, I just went to investigate one night. If you haven't seen that video, it's on my channel here. Uh, I scared the life out of the girl by accident. I didn't, I didn't realise I was going to scare her, but um, she thought I was uh, someone hiding in the bushes, spying on her, which I wasn't. <laughs> I was just seeing where the singing was coming from and what was going on. Anyway, should I try some singing in here? That might draw attention to myself. I think like they like did that night with that girl because it sent me along there didn't it so um, let's try something the hills are alive with the sound of music the hills are alive with the sound of music the other word the other word fish I don't know I don't think it's fish but it fit <laughs> it seemed to fit so why not use it? That's what I say. Uh, what other songs do I not know? Let's think. Well, I used to sing a bit of the Fall Guy, but I forgot all the words. Let's see. I sang that with a group I was in. I was in a group called Over the Edge. And I was the drummer in the group. Yeah, I was the drummer in a group called Over the Edge. But I actually sang one song with them. But I didn't do it in front of any audiences because I don't like to. I didn't even feel comfortable on the drums in front of an audience. Never mind singing. So singing was worse in front of an audience. Not that I did in front of an audience, but I can imagine it would be. Anyway, but I did sing that song. But I had the words in front of us on a piece of paper. Let's see if I can remember some of it. Well, I'm not the kind to kiss and tell, but I've been seen with Farah. I've never been anything. No, I can't remember the rest of it. Huh? Lee Majors sang that song as a theme tune off the TV series The Fall Guy, remember that? With, uh, like I say, Lee Majors, 
um, Heather Thomas and um, the other guy, what's his name? Douglas Barr, I think he was called. Played Howie. Yeah, let's think of it. So, uh, well, I'm not the kind to kiss and tell, but I've been seen with Farah. I've never been in. Forgot the words, forgot the words. It's kind of hard to sing if you don't know the. You forgot the words. But I did sing the whole song. Like I say, with my group, the group I was in. I mean, I've got a video of that actually. If I can work out how to transfer the footage from a DVD onto my uh, phone to get onto YouTube, I might put that bit up. But I don't want all my subscribers to disappear, so I might not. <laughs> anyway. Well, we've reached the end. Or the beginning, as some might say. Whoa. Oh, I got a fright there, it's just a tree. I thought there was someone standing in front of us. Holy shit. It's a bit black, there's tree sticking out here. I put I shone the torch on it. <laughs> right there. Yeah, fancy getting a fright from a tree at the end of a tunnel. Yeah. There's loads of trees down here. Just it was so close to the tunnel here. Huh? Didn't expect to see it there. The way it was lit up, you know. So I'm going to probably leave the tunnel now. I don't think there's uh, any people at the other end of the tunnel. I don't think. Is there anyone at the other end of the tunnel? That might be them lads, I don't know. They might be near us, I don't know. Not sure. And that wasn't an apparition of mist you just saw in front of the camera. That was my breath. Because it's a bit chilly tonight for once. I'll do it again just to prove it, look. See that? <laughs> There you go. There's a few bricks in here for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, someone must have put them in here, obviously. Well, well, I'm going to make my way out of here. This side of the uh, tunnel is, um, well, it's impossible to get out that side. Well, nearly impossible. Couldn't climb up there. I'm not um, in the Eiger sanction. I'll try and get up this side then. There's some footholds here, I'm going to leave the little steps, so you can get out, what's that? There's a, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> There's a massive, like, crayfly thing around us here. It's just like, nearly hit us in the face. I thought it was a, a bat or something. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, this is what it looks like when we torch off. I'm not using any other lights apart from me camera's night vision. I haven't got my torch switched on at this present moment. So, um, yeah, it's very, very dark down here. Uh, this is the places, I mean the places. This is the place where they have uh, witches hang out, you know, over this grass over here. I said on the other video when I was down here with the singing bit in the tunnel. <sighs> so I might bump into some witches tonight. But if we do, I'm going to ask them what they're having for their supper tonight, that's for sure. And I'm going to also ask them if they've seen The Witches of Eastwick with Jack Nicholson, Cher, Susan Sarandon, and Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, how do you get out of here? I thought there was an easier way out, but I can't seem to find it. Damn. Well, I think I'm trapped every year, everybody. I um, thought there was a way out of here, but I can't seem to find it. There must be a way. Maybe it's down this way. Oh, it's this way. I found it. By the way, I'm going to have to sit down in a minute. Has anyone heard of someone... Oh, there's someone over there with a the torch. Hang on. Has anyone heard of a YouTube channel called Unusual Things? Uh, it's here on YouTube, as I just said. It's this guy who goes around um, finding celebrities' graves in England. different All over the country, in this country, England. And uh, I watch him on a regular basis. He's He's been to quite a few uh, interesting graves of celebrities. He's been to um, Cella Blacks. Um, who else? Oh yeah, um, Filthy Animal Taylor, the drummer from Motorhead. He's been to his grave. He was at uh, Gary Moore's grave. You know Gary Moore, the guitarist? Uh, the heavy metal guitarist, blues. He did blues, rock, heavy metal stuff and he sang as well. Um, he's been to his grave. And um, who else? I think he did, um, uh, let's think. He's done loads of them. Oh, he did Barry Norman. 
I didn't even know Barry Norman was dead, you know, until I saw his video. Because I used to watch Film 80, whatever it was, it was like, sort of like, I don't know, Film 80. I don't, don't know when it started, but I think I was watching it around 85, 86 onwards, 87. Yeah, it was a good show, that, with Barry Norman, reviewing all the movies and stuff. He interviewed lots of uh, uh, Hollywood actors as well on the show as well. And he did a piece once on one episode about Super 8 movies, Super 8 film. 8mm, and uh, he went, well, well he didn't go personally, but he's a uh, reporter or whoever, he did the voiceover on the piece, it was like a short uh, film about Super 8 movies and collectors of Super 8 movies, um, basically, and they had uh, Keith Wilton on from Duran Film Services, and I think they had the head of Duran, uh, the head of Duran Films, I think he was called Derek Simmons, and I always remember that interview they gave with him, had with him on that, on that piece on uh, film eighty six or whatever it was. He goes about seven years ago, Super Eight was very big. Then when video came along, Super Eight took a nosedive. Well, that wasn't totally spot on. Some of it might have been, but not the last bit. I turned into Farmer Giles on the last bit there. It always happens when I do that impression. But I always remember that bit. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. And Keith Wilton was uh, a Super 8 film collector who uh, I think he worked with Duran on some of the film prints, getting them, re uh, getting them, helping get them released and stuff. And I think he did anyway. And he had a high pitched voice. Uh, yes, uh, video's just not the same. Oh, I can't do his voice. I'm going to get the the high pitch uh, thing. But he, he talked like with a really high pitched voice, you know. But that was funny anyway. He was, I mean, he was a very knowledge, knowledge. <laughs> he was a very knowledgeable guy, you know. It was an interesting um, little piece on there, uh, film eighty six or eighty seven or whatever it was on. Might have been eighty eight or eighty nine even. Possibly ninety. I'm not sure. But um, yeah. Well, I think I'm gonna make me way back home now. And there's no seats around this bit, unfortunately. God damn it. But um, yeah, this is the bit where I say the witches hang out. <laughs> but uh, there's none here tonight, unfortunately. Damn, I was going to ask them some questions as well. Well, I managed to make it. What the hell was that? I thought I saw something up on the bank there, but I must be seeing things. Um, I managed to make it through the tunnel, surprisingly, because I didn't think I'd be to do it. Because uh, I'm not good at gymnastics or anything like that, you know. Right. We'll head down here. There's somebody coming down the bank now, I think. Not sure. Actually, I'm going to turn the torch off. I can't see where I'm going, that's the problem. Oh. Coming down the bath, I'm gonna go up here. Right here, we'll go. Come along here. I'm back here at the footbridge. It's just a guy coming up with his, uh, he's talking to someone on the phone, I think. I didn't want to disturb him, he's in the middle of a phone call. Right, well, they could do with putting some seats down here, I must admit. Do you not think? There's like nowhere to sit. <laughs> I, uh, I could do with a sit down, you know. Um, I think I'm going to sit on the ground actually. Um, so I can think of somewhere else. Hang on, over here. No, not really. Could I? Um, not sure. <sighs> Why don't the, the council put seats like in these like nice grassy area places? I don't know why they don't do that. They never seem to do that. They just always put them on paths. 
Having said that, this is a path, but there's no seats. Yeah, anyway. Well, I'm going to have to sit down because I need to put my um, protection prayers on once again. Uh, so, yeah. Kind of do nothing these days without some issue kicking off here. Um, let's go up here a bit. Let's go up here. Um, I'm using my torch as well just so I can see where the hell I'm going. Take the thing you know. I'm now heading up. Well, local people watching this, if you're watching this, you'll know where I am probably. Uh, this leads up onto the street that leads up past the little school up towards Monkton Village. Yeah, I'm going to sit over here, I think. Although, hang on, there's a little bank up here, maybe sit on there. Oh, they broke my ankle, holy shit. My ankle just went totally sideways. So, I think up here I should be okay. Yeah, this little bank. <coughs> Oops, I'm flashing. No, don't don't panic. I mean, my torch is flashing. That's what I meant. Uh, right. <laughs> don't call the police just yet. It's just my torch flashing. Nothing else. Right. Finally found a seat. Not perfect, but you know it'll do for the minute. Right, I'm going to have to cut for a minute because I have to get my uh, headphones on to do me my prayer, protection prayer thing. So you just bear with us for one second. I'll be back with you in a minute. And I've just uh, discovered this cat's just joined us here. Hello, what's your name? Eh? What's your name? Eh? Probably going to run off in a minute. Have you been looking for birds or something? Eh? Oh, he's off. There he goes. He's off. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come here! Come here! Come here! There he went through the fence. Oh well, that's another one that got away. <laughs> anyway. Right, um, I think I'm going to finish up this uh, little video tonight. At least I made it through the tunnel with a bit of difficulty, but I got through eventually. Um, so I hope you enjoyed some of this video tonight. And uh, once again, it's still very dark down here. Not that it was going to get any light out at this time of night, of course. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's pitch black. Just to let you know. It's only You can only see me because of the night vision down here. Because you can't see a hand in front of your face without the night vision or the torch. So I'm going to head off now. And uh, go back home and uh, figure out what to do next. Uh, so I'd just like to thank you very much for watching this uh, video tonight. And um, I guess I'll see you on the next one. So thanks very much everyone, one, and I'll see you next time, so bye for now, turn on now.